It's painful. I rolled a 57. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck Trump. I, I don't know who does this show or why anybody watches us. I am I am stunned. I really am, but I'm appreciative, as these guys are. Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Live. We're doing a campaign tonight, as you can tell, because we got five people and no Scott. Uh, that's usually a big freaking clue there. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy some of our cool shit like this, uh, or that, or that, or that, which apparently you are not allowed to wear on the BART transit system in San Francisco with the hobos. Otherwise, it causes ruffled feathers. Uh, you can go to <laughs> tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. Carol corrected me. It's not crap. There's some good items out there. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> it's cheap crap. That's the important thing. Uh, folk, we're, we're still going to talk over you. <laughs> Go ahead and show your shirt because that is your design. I've seen better. Yeah, like uh, the one the one Ernest has on. That one's classy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know who designed that, but that guy knows his shit. Yeah, black, white lettering, perfect. Thick figures. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was me. <laughs> Uh, folks, you know the drill. Uh, we're going to play for two, two and a half hours. Uh, hopefully give you something to enjoy. Uh, you know, uh, a couple of you are actually playing bingo tonight. And thank you very much. Uh, if you can go ahead and mark on the, what time your, uh, box is checked, that will help determine the winner. Uh, cause if you cheat, then I have to watch this show and Jesus Christ, after playing it, I really don't want to watch it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get on with the game and then we'll do the recap. Uh, we'll start with Chris, Chris, who are you and who do you play? Uh, my name's Chris. I'm a mini painter. I stream on Twitch, uh, Fridays and Sundays, probably adding a Wednesday at some time. Uh, I'm playing Manise, an Eric Cocker cleric that gets picked on by Dewey all the time. And, uh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dewey, let's go with rebuttal. What? What was the question? Up. Who are you? Who are you playing? Oh. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle. Um, I'm playing the lie barbarian, Dewey Docamel, who's been hardened by the prison system. <laughs> Now escaping on the run with his good buddy, Lucas. We're going to chase down that perpetual lady because she's got some answering to do. Ernest, you are up. Who are you? Who you playing? So I am Ernest, and I am playing Lucas, the anti-druid. And uh, my goal is to uh, do as much bullshit as possible without being caught. That's fair. Blake? <laughs> it's a hard knock like. For Dewey. We're not going to... Producer, oh, producer the rest do we have of the it? crickets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Blake. I'm playing Perpetua, a.k.a. Uh, that kid that got shit up in the village, a.k.a. Anastasia Beaverhausen, I, a.k.a. Uh, pretty much any other character, uh, a.k.a. Terran. You know what? We're going to call that mm -hmm. little kid that got crapped <laughs> on Carlin. Oh, I thought that was Macaulay Culkin. Uh, Carlin. Carlin. No, Macaulay Culkin was the guard. Uh, uh, I, I am a changeling uh, sorcerer, and uh, I am here to basically do everything to get Carol's character killed without killing her myself. Fair <laughs> enough. Last but certainly not least, Carol. Carol, who are you and who are you playing? Oh, Lord. Thanks, I Carol. Okay, last week. <laughs> I'm the one under the bus. That's where that's where I'm at because that's where I'm always at is under the bus with these people. Um, I don't know why Perpetua wants to get me killed. I really haven't done anything to evoke that rest, but just because I'm me. What? What? Yes. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know. Remember all those hobgoblins she killed? 
I yeah, don't remember it vividly. Like, it, 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 it was like it was like World War Three. She's she's Hitler. She's super Hitler. The Hitler that flies. You guys did your best to tell her. I distinctly remember. No, Carol, don't do it. And she went on that murderous rampage and killed the naked dude too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She no, that light was light all over the place, and she fucked everything up. Or did she it. set something on fire, yeah. like the bridge or something? You know, she yeah, grabbed my puppy Gnarls Barkley from me and tore him in half in front of the goblins. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh! And, and we don't even need to say what she did in Simon's Hollow because well, that- and, then she, and then she fucked the corpse of that puppy. <laughs> I didn't know that. You're dying, Taryn, tonight. It's happening. It's- did everyone get- Four witnesses saw this. Is that a bingo card thing that Taryn dies? Is that what uh, you- no? I don't think I put any of you guys dying on the card. So, all right, but you did put talk, I'm being talked over, so, hey, everyone's already got a square. That should have just been the free square, honestly, because that was going to happen. Was there a Carol Well, you might not have shown up. up. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Lord. So, uh, I wish I was that powerful that I could have pulled all that off, but no, <laughs> I think I spent most of the Hobgoblin fight hiding under a cart, praying I wasn't going to get shot to death by 50,000 arrows. And I believe when I went to the cart, I was at about three hit points. So, hey. So why were they trying to shoot at you, Carol? Yeah. Why I were don't you think in so. Strange. <laughs> Guilty. You have been arrested in the first probably, place. Oh. Probably because I tried to pick the keys off of... Oh, first, probably because I healed uh, Dewey, if I recall. And then No, I you did that afterwards, after they shooted arrows at you. No. Which, I, as I, a noble uh, gentleman... Okay. Dewey obviously came to your rescue, misguided as he was, you know. He's only got that five charisma. I did heal you before that, actually. I remember. You almost got friggin' dead in the very first, like, the very first action. Well, next time, don't antagonize the hobgoblins to kill us all. You attacked them thinking... I can't believe you did that. You know, Carol, this show is only supposed to run for two hours. Are you going to wrap up your character? <laughs> I'm already wrapped up. Oh, we're still in the intros? Yes, we're still in the intros. <laughs> if you've been paying attention, you all know the truth. Fifteen <laughs> minutes in, now we can start this fucking game. Hey, new record for my knees. Feel free to <laughs> check on the new knees. Is still, still alive, no hit points lost. Uh, okay, folks, uh, if you haven't been paying attention, shame on you. You can always catch the uh, short version on the YouTube. Uh, Here's what's going on. These guys are still mostly fractured, except for Dewey, Lucas, and Taryn, which is an entirely different mess. Uh, We have Manise hanging out with the Brothers of Light in Sipic. We have Dewey and Lucas arriving at the town of Rourke, where Taryn and Cola the Halfling (coughs) are. Uh, and we have Anastasia Beaverhausen hanging out with sheep at Woolhaven. Uh, insert joke here. Uh, I'm already- being very, very bad. <laughs> uh, sheep, the sheep are liars, I believe is the punchline to that. Uh, I have already pre-rolled and we are no, going no, to start. No, 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 It's why do you fuck a sheep against the edge of a cliff? So he keeps backing up. Correct. I heard. Uh, we're going to start with Maniz tonight. Maniz, you are in the town of Sipic. Uh, for those of you who didn't see it, he's already been here, but he flew over it and got shot at because he didn't want to get investigated. Uh, however, he has entered the town with the Brothers of Light, some elves who are searching for Fenestra the Dark Elf, uh, who has played a reoccurring role in this a uh, little debacle that we call our campaign. Uh, no, that is not the town of Sibian, jackass. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Maniz, you but have But it gotten- is next to the mountain Sibian. It is. Uh, Maniz, you've gotten room number okay. five, the Brothers of Light. All four of them got room <laughs> number one. What would you like to do this evening? Um, you feel the earth rumble. For some odd reason, Ooh, put Thunder a quarter in one of those beds. I'll just stick around. Maybe go look for some food. Oh, excellent! Uh, there is a establishment nearby. Are you going to get the Brothers of Light with you? <clears throat> uh, I'll ask them if they're interested. Sure. Uh, D twelve. 
My God. Uh, that is a nine. Uh, would you like for them to join you or no? Yeah, I, I mean, why not? They will accept your gracious uh, offering and go ahead and head on out with you. Uh, they are interested to see what an Aarakocra actually eats. They have a bet that it's worms. <laughs> okay. So uh, nearby the, I think it's Wayfield or something like that, Wheatfield, uh, in is a small tavern. Uh, it's a little bit on the rundown side, but you were told by the innkeeper that it does have good food. I'll, would you um, like to try something else? I'll go in. D12 against me. That is a wonderful three. Excellent. Uh, as you walk in, you notice it's a little bit dim and a little bit sparsely populated. You and your new associates uh, wander in and you see several open tables. However, you also see a few guards eating here. One of which, well, let's roll perception. You want me to roll perception? Yep. Uh, boy. Are you sure it's perception or investigation? It's perception because he's not actively looking. It's a nine. Uh, nine. Uh, you see a group of guards. You okay. and your associates pick a seat and a lady. <coughs> oh, excuse me, gentlemen. What can I get? <coughs> what can I get for you? Uh, I'll start with. Uh, <coughs> oh, shit. I'll start with a mead. Did you want that in a <coughs> clean glass or just any mug? <coughs> clean glass. Cleric, you're fucked, man. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not. I know. Okay. Uh, she takes the orders of the others, and you hear some rumbling over your shoulder where the guards are sitting. So, so is this the I ignore Wuhan it. Tavern? Is this the what? Wuhan Tavern? <laughs> They're going to bring me three coronaviruses? W Wu Tang. <laughs> it's the Wu Tang Tavern. Uh, three coronaviruses. One of the Brothers of Light leans in closely and says, uh, have, Do you know those gentlemen in the corner? They keep looking over here. Never seen them before. Hmm. Cutting over to Taryn. Taryn, uh, you and Cola. <coughs> 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 have uh, spent a rough night next to each other in the inn at Rourke uh, after dealing with the centaur. Uh, you wake up in the morning and uh, Cola is, is, is just not feeling well. Uh, she wants to know if you want to go down for breakfast. Jeez, I'm not even sure I really wanted to stay in this town because I know the disease is here. I was thinking of actually staying outside the town. Um. What? But yeah, we were, I was going to head up towards the tavern, which I think is about where I was going to be when I saw saw the centaurs coming in last time. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> give me a D12. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh six. I didn't uh, see what I pulled. Uh, as you go into the tavern, uh, you look around and you spy a two seats at the bar or several tables. Uh, the, the tavern itself is kind of chocked full of people today. Go ahead and give me a perception. Fair. Um, <clears throat> where, where's perception? Oh, that's yeah, right. My perception is that great. That's 13, huh? You, <laughs> you see a tiefling. Tiefling. Mm -hmm. and the, he looks familiar for some reason. Do I have any idea why? Mm, give me a history check. Oh wait, that's a D twelve. <laughs> D. Need the D twenty. Oh, that's that's really good. Um, history is uh, twenty four. It appears. It looks like it might be. You think that's Cola's associate from Fink? I'll point him out to Cola. <coughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I'm a little bit blurry right now. Uh, you can help her. I'll, uh, I, hang on. I'm, I'm going to go over and talk to him. Uh, right. Your halfling associate comes over. The waitress comes by, says, what can I get for you and your friend? Uh, breakfast. What have you got for breakfast? Uh, we have something called bacon and eggs. That sounds fun. I'm okay. Sure Two want- or one? Uh, I know Cola pretty well, but she want bacon and eggs. I guess would be yes. Sure, she'll eat. Yep. All right, if she, I'll... if she has a, uh, if she's hungry. Yeah, well, we'll try to get her to eat. She comes back shortly after the waitress leaves, and she's she's still just her eyes are watery, they're red. She's you know she's kind of <clears throat> having a hard time breathing, and she says, "Yes, that uh, that is Pepsi." my uh, former compatriot. Yep. Uh, yeah, he, he is, uh, he, he's decided to come South. He's, he's looking to go to Yaddle. Oh, that's where originally we were headed. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good with going. Do you, do you want me to, <coughs> do you want me to go ask him if he wants to join us? <coughs> I think you need to stay. I think you need to find a doctor or a cleric. Oh, uh, I, I could, but I, I'm not. I'm not feeling too bad. I think it was that potion you made me drink. <coughs> I didn't make you drink it, but that's not what it is. <laughs> well, that seems rather rude. I I remember specifically you foisted it into my hands and said, "Taste this." You actually wanted the other one too. I do still, you still have, have it. I do still have it. <clears throat> well, would you like me to go over and ask him if he'd like to join us? Sure. Okay. I'll be <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh Dewey, Lucas. Uh as the centaurs drag you across the open plains, they continue to ask you about this flautist who you believe is uh changeling. Can you give uh the leader named Man of War any information on it? Um it's a her, I think. FYI. Um, she, she's usually a yeah sometimes a little girl she she prefers to change into women yeah or little girls with no, 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 no. would you be able to recognize her she's a changeling yeah I'm sorry did you want that in Espanol <laughs> I thought would it was you? obvious that you asked a dumb question sorry he, he <laughs> reaches up behind him Spins his spear and gives you a jab in the chest with a spear butt. The question is simple. Would you be able to recognize this person? Potentially. Okay. I mean, she'll change into someone that we might recognize. Well, uh, right there up ahead is uh, Rourke. Uh, So (laughs) we'll see if you're telling the truth. (laughs) Okay. to Anastasia Beaverhausen slash Carlin. Uh, You have enjoyed the meal of the shepherds. Uh, They have shown you to your own quarters and (coughs) you had expressed an interest unknown to them at bailing early. You have also witnessed that Jeb, one of the males who first greeted you, seems to have a nagging cough. Uh, after they show you to your hut, which is the best description given, um, you are left alone, or so you think. Uh, would you like to rest a little bit and then sneak off, or just say "fuck it" and sneak off? Uh, yeah, I, I would. I'll take the equivalent of what would be a short short rest and then flee because I don't want to ooh, wah, ah, 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 get down with the sickness. Fair enough. Uh, you take your short rest. It's pleasant, uh, all things considered. The woolen mat that you were given is not too bad. I mean, it's not going to give you back problems or anything. You pack up your belongings and you decide to take off. Go ahead and give me an investigation check as you peek outside. That's not too shabby. That's going to be a... 23. You see a figure in the partial moonlight, and he seems to be relieving himself nearby. 
<clears throat> and he's humming a song. Do I recognize it? Meaning the song? Ar <laughs> Arcana. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, 16. This little yeah. piggy made wee wee. Ah, so I, will I, I will wait for him to finish his, uh, his, his bathroom. Fair enough. Uh, as he does his uh, shake and twist, you hear him cough loudly, letting you know that this is most likely Jeb. As you peek between the openings of your tent or hut, you notice that Jeb seems to be headed your way. A loud cough is heard before a soft, gentle knocking outside. Uh, if you were Ernie, we know what you'd do. But <laughs> <laughs> that could have been a bingo thing too. Okay, so I, I'm going to dimension door the direction he came from. Okay, as far as possible. Uh, what's the distance on that spell? 500 feet. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. 11. Four. You land in sheep shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you're 500 feet away. Okay. The knocking continues. Uh, would Go I be ahead and give me a wisdom. Would I be able to hear that? 500 feet? Yeah, because it's he's steadily getting louder. Okay, bonus action, sorcery points, another source, no, another dimension door. Okay. So you are a thousand feet away? Yes. Uh, D12. Seven. Four. Uh, you land on an incline, but you steady your feet fairly quickly. So the little collection of huts is up top of a hilltop. You were starting to go down the slant into a small plateau slash valley, uh, and ahead you hear and smell the animals ahead of you. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Manees, uh, you feel a tap on your shoulder. I turn around. It is a guard. D12 oh. against me. Eight. Seven. What? Eleven. The moron guard that let you in is the one tapping you on the shoulder. And he goes, I need to tell you something. Okay. And what is it? That wagon in the, the clouds, that was not a wagon. That was a boat. Okay, thank you. I remember this guy now. He's the one who let us sit in the last time. <laughs> and as you, as you turn around, give me a perception check. Uh, that'll be modified 20. <clears throat> as you watch Dumbass walk away, you catch a glance at the table of guards, and one guard seems to be staring at you intently. This would have been the guard that wanted to glove up and inspect you from the look on his face. It doesn't appear as though he knows who you are, but he's trying to figure it out. What would you like to do? Um, well, given that we, we know about the sickness, right? Oh yeah. Everybody knows. Okay. About sickness. Um, so I'll turn back and uh, to, to the guys that I'm with and be like, I'm pretty sure the sickness has made it here. Um, Maybe we should just, uh, I'll toss a goal on the table and we'll just head out without uh, trying to catch anything. Maybe find somewhere where it's a little safer to eat. Where it's warmer. It's like a miracle. No more sickness. Uh, they agree and point out you are probably correct. Uh, as the waitress comes over, <coughs> she sets the tray of drinks down for you. Oh well, thank thank you very much. Thank you. What do uh, what do we owe you? Uh, one gold. I'll give her two. Very nice. You want to do anything with the drinks? No, oh, we'll just leave them there and pretend we're like we're gonna drink and everything, and so she'll you know go about her business. 
Okay. She uh she puts him down. Uh it's like it's like tipping a stripper five bucks to just leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. you, notice, yeah. you notice she's got a little bit of dried blood in her chin whiskers. No, oh, okay. Great. Despite the fact or in spite of the fact that she has a 14 charisma. So she goes off, she heads over to the guards uh, and uh, asks if they need their beers refreshed. After a few minutes, would you like to go ahead and escape? Yeah, we'll just mosey out. Uh, give me a d20. Uh, that is a nine. Fair enough. Uh, there are no further guard, guard incursions. Uh, however, when you and the Brothers of Light exit, you are nearly trampled by horsemen. Okay. You recognize the tabards that they wear as the Northern Military Units. Okay. I believe you've seen them outside of Whitewood. Hmm. They have come into town and they are asking where a good place to drink is. Uh, not here. Why not? Uh, everybody's sick in there. <sighs> so the sickness has reached this point as well. Yes, we're trying to get ahead of it as well. Aren't you clerics? Why don't you heal it? Uh, have your guards departed from you? His gods have, but his guards have not. <laughs> um no it's just this is something we've yet to encounter it's nothing seems to work well you know we're, we're hoping we're hoping the heat will take care of it for us <laughs> you know who's responsible for this don't you oh no he knows no. stabbing them in the face <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't fly away it's uh, we received word in the north that it's a group of adventurers that caused a wee bit of havoc up there and apparently nearly destroyed the town of Fink. Ooh. What? Ooh. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> so if I know you, I know I've I've yet to hear anything of this. Well, if you see any of these rapscallions, please let us know. We are headed down south. <laughs> yes, towards the heat. It's a good idea. The heat look is always away, good. Look away. Look away. <laughs> we are headed to the headed Southland. We are headed to the town of Fulton. Okay. We believe that the ruffians will be headed in that direction, as that is the only area that is still currently offering escape by sea. Oh. Okay, well that's good to know. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, citizen. Have a pleasant evening and thanks for the tip. Have a joy, joy day. Over you to too. Taryn. Uh, she comes back. She's sniffling. You know, her eyes are all puffy. He he, he doesn't want to join us. He, he thinks I'm sick. You are. Well, that's rude. rather rude of you. No, it's not. It's just the truth. We need. I want to get you some help. What kind of help? I don't know, a, a clerical help, hopefully. I mean, to cast. Well, let's go find a shrine. Um, okay, we can we can try. I don't know if there's anything in this town, but where we're going, if we're going to continue to yodel, there'll definitely be something there. Well, am I going to die before yodel? I hope not. Touche. Hey, hey um, DM, are there any, like, potion shops or anything here? D12. Um, like 12 10 uh, there is a potion shop uh, the apothecary is just around the corner about a block away okay. <laughs> guess what they're closed and out of stock <laughs> out of game they're probably out of stock so I mean I mean I can try but you know I'll do, I want to do something for her I really do um, hey, sir? hey, tell the apothecary a bad joke and maybe they'll give you one on the house. <laughs> Some of their reserve stock. We, we understand they like it. flautists. <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to go there, but all right. 
Yeah, a lot of people do, mister, so. Taryn, uh, it's still early in the morning, but it appears as though the apothecary is present in his shop. I will go there then. Um, it did cola follow. Yeah, she's a little bit slow. She's... That's fine. I tell her <laughs> that's right outside. All of Frank's I... NPCs are assholes. <laughs> uh, you walk in and it's a portly gentleman with a beard and a bald head. Greetings. Greetings. How may I help you? Do you have anything for the disease at all? At least I could slow it down. I don't I know. What kind of disease? Do... From a local rabbit. What kind of disease do you have? Is it something that requires a tiny comb and some cream? No. <laughs> it's, the, it's not me. It's my companion. And right, she has right, right. Cough. Your secrecy is safe with me. Your uh, it's friend. The, it's the cough. Oh. There, 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 there's patient alchemist confidentiality in, in, in this town. That's right. Uh, why, of course, I have something for a cough. I, John C. Robitussin, have just the elixir you're looking for. All right. Like five bottles, I tell you it's the best. <laughs> well, if you get more than three, you have to sign a form. <laughs> I you would... know, the government. <laughs> uh, wish I had a better so, bar DA. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a 12. That's a 12 insight to see if he's a snake oil salesman or not. He appears to be uh, on the level. All right, what have you got? Although, I'm surprised. How come you still have some, considering so many people are sick? Well, I'm not saying it'll cure everything, but I am telling you that it will cure the cough. The Robitussin elixir cures coughs. All right. I mean, we'll... And I even have one that tastes like dingleberry. Schnozberry? I'll take... There is a schnozberry, but I'm all out. <laughs> At least I'm going to... All right, so how much? Uh... It's a little bit steep. Uh, it's going to be four gold. That's not enough for a real potion, but what the hell? It's not too costly. I'll, I'll pay him for it. It smells like fruit. Uh, comes with a cork. Uh, comes with a darkened bottle. He tells you, uh, don't leave it out in the sunlight because uh, effects may vary. That's fine. I'm just going to get, how much do you take? Oh, just a swig. All right. Kids, half a swig. So I'll bring it outside to her. I was to your friend. Say, I'll say, <laughs> I do I have a cough? Well, I always, Carol always has a cough. I think. <laughs> but Taryn is fine uh, for now. And I'll take it outside. I'll thank him. And I'll take it outside and grab <coughs> it. <coughs> not, but <coughs> the cough. I back off. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, I was getting into a drum and bass beat there. Keep going. Go ahead, Taryn. And, and basically, I, I hand it to her and back off. How much was I supposed to take? Just a swig. So that like, sounds medically promising. That's what Uncorks it, guzzles it. It looks a little bit more than a swig, and she makes this face. It's like, oh. What? Too much there. <coughs> Wait, is there a hand measuring thing in the cover? <coughs> no, man, I was a cork. All right. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> oh. <coughs> huh. Huh. It helped. Yeah. It kind of coats my throat. I kind of feel tingly. Maybe it'll Anastasia Beaverhausen is on the hillside. High on the hill with a lonely goat herd. Maybe or go <laughs> south or east or north. Uh, which way is the ocean? E O west. West. Okay, I want to go. I, I want. I want to follow the trajectory that I had been taking. Down to well, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I I, I I I wanted to get away from this area. I, I still need I still need to rest up. I wanted to get towards the nearest civilization. Uh you wouldn't have any idea. You think probably south. Survival? You can do survival. Okay, I, I might have an idea. That's 16. Mm -mm. 
North appears to be your best bet. That is the direction I would like to go. And I will continue to mention Doring for like the next three rounds. How many spells do you have of that? I have sorcery points. I have infinite spells. Infinite spells? I have, I have 10 that I can do. <laughs> okay. So you can get 5,000 feet away. But I only want to do it for three rounds, I said. Okay. So 1,500. Correct. That's fair. Uh, give me a D20 and a D6, please. That's 18 and 3. Fair enough. Uh, and I skipped over Dewey and Lucas, so we'll go to Dewey and Lucas next. Yeah. Uh, as you are headed towards Rourke, the centaurs <laughs> are starting to slow down a little bit. They're getting a little bit tired. But as the sun has already risen in the east behind you, uh, you see the settlement. The sun comes up, and the settlement opens up ahead of you. Uh, the centaur in the lead, man of war, says we are arriving at Rourke. Keep an eye out for this changeling person. <laughs> As you start to get closer, you see a couple of people at the edge of town because there is no uh, wall here. What would you like to do? Ooh, no walls. This is great. Uh, I mentioned that you should probably look for for the bad flute player, and we'll look for anyone we might recognize. <clears throat> Fair enough. Maniz, back to you. Are you headed back to bed, or where are you headed? Um, is did the uh, would I know if there's anywhere else to? Well, what time is it? Let's let's start with that. What time of day are we looking at? Pretty late in the evening. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would think going back, getting some rest, and then heading towards that town a day behind those guards is probably a good idea. The the one that the guards mentioned to us where there's no uh, no disease. Uh, Fulton? Yeah. Okay. Fulton is in the southeast corner of this uh, continent. Uh, it's going to be... A bit of a, a haul, but since you can fly, you'll make very good time. Uh, you return back to uh, your room. Uh, give me a D12 against me, please. <clears throat> Seven. Six. Uh, new roommates in room two have moved in, and they seem to be rather raucous lovers. There's a thumping on the wall next to your bed. Give me a constitution check to see if you can sleep on through it. The fuck it. It's the, it's the bridal suite. Uh, constitution. So that's a 17. Uh, after hearing her cry out to her favorite deity repeatedly and for an extended period of time, you finally drift off to sleep knowing that your door is locked and you would appear to be safe this evening. Uh, you are awoken the next morning as a beam of light passes through the shoddy curtains here at the inn, uh, and it appears as though it is just after daybreak. <laughs> Outside, a cock crows, unlike in room two. <laughs> <laughs> where, where it is resting soundly. That's right. So, would you like to grab your new friends, or... <laughs> No, I'll. Uh, I I, fi I figure there's strength in numbers. Um, I'll go uh, awaken my friends. Fair enough. Uh, you rouse them from their slumber, uh, and they compose themselves rather quickly and ask, "What's up?" I think we should uh, head down towards that town the guards were talking about yesterday. Well, that's where we came from. Oh, <laughs> we're headed up to uh, Torgal Manor. You did say that's where our associate was last seen, correct? Yes, yes. But, now, uh, yeah. Give me, give me a perception check. All right. Uh, that's a not 20, so 22. After getting a good night's sleep, you kind of realize that these guys are not dark elves, and she was. So you're kind of puzzled as to why she is an associate of them. 
Hmm. Go ahead and continue. Uh, they, they said they need to go to Torgal Manor. Well, I'm going to head down towards uh, Fulton as uh, I want to get away from this disease. It's it's not worth the, the risk for me anymore. Brother, good luck. Thank you. I have good luck on to you. Thank you. Uh, did you want to stop and get uh, some breakfast? Um, no, I think I'll try to maybe uh, see if I can find some berries or some some foraging of sorts once I get outside the city. Fair enough. Uh, the morning market is just starting to open with the farmers from outside coming in. Some have coughs, some are in dubious states of health, and others seem to be rather healthy. Are you going to take flight or walk on out the front door? I'm just going to... Yeah, what? We'll fly, fly out the window. Fair enough. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if you get spotted. And seven. Uh, as you take flight and you move, the sun warms your feathers and you hear shouts below. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Uh, you turn your head and you see the guard that you originally eluded uh, before you found the Brothers of Light, and he seems to be running through the streets of Sipic, trying to catch up to you, yelling for the attention of other guards who are just not feeling it this morning. Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, du double speed and, and, and get on my way. <laughs> Uh, as he gives chase to you, he does not realize what's ahead of him. He kicks a goose and goes face down into a mud uh, puddle, and he is covered. Uh, you soar into the morning sky and head south. Uh, how far would you like to go before landing for berries? Um, just maybe, you know, a few, maybe half an hour outside the city, kind of get a little bit of distance. Distance. Fair enough. Uh, you do. Give me a nature check. Let's see if you find uh, good berries or poison ivy. <laughs> uh, nature. So that's a nine. So probably not good. Uh, you find some worms, some apple trees and uh, the uh, apples. Uh, but eh, you're a bird. You can eat worms, too. Yep. Yeah. Taryn. Knock away. Yeah. We can fly you over a city again. <laughs> yeah, it'll give you the shits again. Taryn, you're up. Uh, her cough seems to subside, and as you guys are close to the east side of town, you notice riders approaching. And I did see them, because I did roll to see them. Yep. You I'm going to actually... So, I'm out in the open, right? There's no buildings right behind me, so it's just... Well, behind you there are. But All there's right. no wall here. Think of it as a town in Wyoming during the Wild West. Nope, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to wait for them to get closer and I'm going to go, what? Why are they with the centaurs? The centaurs <laughs> for their companion. I'm like saying that to Cola, by the way. <laughs> Cola uh, seems to be exercising her vocal cords and she seems to uh, really enjoy the Robitussin spirit. Uh, hashtag Robitussin. You're welcome, Robitussin. Is she still drinking it? Now she's yeah. the oh yeah, she's 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 down half the bottle. Stop drinking! Wow, I go buy some more bottles. They're in there. I pointed out. I'm so she says, "Fine, fine, I'll get you one." So she wanders off. Oh, uh, Dewey, oh. Lucas, uh, <laughs> you see a familiar figure. Do you point them out to the centaur? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure, Dewey? Is that the enemy? <laughs> Dewey, Lucas, Terran, initiative. Initiative. Well, an initiative. Uh oh. Back together. <laughs> yeah, 17. Ah, uh, you beat me. That's a 14. Lucas? 21. Uh, Lucas oh. first and goes. Hey, Dewey, over there. Uh, Dewey, with a 17, says, hey. I tackle her. 
As soon as she gets in there. You're still approaching. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. On the back of the centaurs, right? Or then I definitely will use my deceptive nature to make it look like I'm not about to tackle her. <laughs> Fair enough. The uh, centaur's got a seven. Uh, Taryn, you notice the centaurs yeah. have passengers that are more than familiar with you. Oh, yeah. No, I, I remember. I already picked them out. That's why I'm not running away. And I'm sitting here kind of confused going... Why are they on the centaurs? I'm going to find out. Oh, you're going to find out, all right. I know, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's no way Taryn would know what the jig is up, you know, what's going on. Uh, the centaurs uh, are galloping in towards town. They lean back. Man of War says, do you see anybody that you recognize? Hi! <laughs> I, don't do, I don't do that, but I'm like... Do we? Do you point at her? Wait, are we within sixty feet? Uh, I'll say a hundred. Okay, I, I have a spell ready when we get within sixty feet. Oh, Fair enough. Uh, as as you come close and Dewey points at her, you can hear Man of War sigh audibly. Not her. Oh come on! It wasn't and he he starts to slow down his gait a little bit and close. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep the same initiative rolls. Uh, Dewey, you are at 65 feet. What would you like to do? Yep. She the one who tells the bad jokes and plays the flute? He nods. That, that, uh, I look back at uh, 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 Lucas. I'm like, that, that really sounds more like Perpetua than, than Taryn. <laughs> Perpetua what did you say, play? man? Lucas! You, you know Perpetua has a vendetta against her, so she knows she's taking that shape. Oh, yeah, exactly. And, you know, I've never heard Perpetua tell a joke, so she must wait. be awful at it. Wait, wait. Why does Perpetua... What did you freaking do to Perpetua, man? I, I don't even get it. You know what would be the best part is Perpetua also has a vendetta against Dewey. So <laughs> Dewey will kill Taryn, or Taryn will kill Dewey. It's okay either way. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Lucas, uh, you are on Secretariat, and as Secretariat closes, you are at 60 feet. Cool. Taryn, make a DC 15 wisdom save. Oh, because that's my good one, you know. I know, but I'm hoping you fail. Oh, I'll no. No it's shit. One. I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, I totally, yeah. Lose my day okay, speed. you are now polymorphed to look like Perpetua. Wow. I go, the fuck? Yeah, I polymorphed you. <laughs> you did, does Lucas know my true shape? Or, 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 or how, how, how are you, how are you polymorphed? The little girl that squirts poison spray. Oh, the little girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Taryn, give me a wisdom roll to see if you recognize you've been polymorphed. Oh, no, I said the way my rolls have been going lately. Yeah, no, I'm not even, I'm not looking at myself. Did I feel anything? Because I... I don't think so. At that point, I scream at the center. Oh my God, it's her! It's her! Okay. So, Taryn, as you wave to your associates, you notice the centaurs speed right up to you, grab their spears, lower them at you. Freeze! Does my does my voice change at all? No. Yeah. Okay. So oh, does it? Well, I mean, you're polymorphed, so like everything about you changes. If, if well, you're sure, are you sure about that? I don't think. I, I don't does. think it audible has audible effects. Does it start talking like? I, I, I mean, if she keeps the same charisma stat, I'd say she keeps her voice. The new form can be. Whether or not I'm going to talk like this, and hey, there's change of voice for your bingo cards there. Um. Or, or I'm going to talk like me. That's that's the only reason why I want to know. Yeah, I don't know, actually. But to the centaurs, they don't know the difference. Oh, they remember the joke <laughs> killer. <laughs> I, I just look at the two of you, and I look at the centaurs and go, really? Hey, Perpetua. I'm not Perpetua, and you know it, and one of you two. I do realize I'm a bit closer to the ground. Ho, oh, so, varlet. Pick up your bag. You're coming with us. Am I really? 
I tackle I prefer, it. I prefer the trash. Trumpet, thank you. Um. You know what? Since Dewey's going to go ape shit, all three of you roll initiative again. Oh, I, uh, why are you people bringing, uh, making ten. this more difficult than it has to be? But we, we, we promised the audience a payoff. We, we did. To do it. The mm -hmm. killing me is the payoff. All right, that's 21. Uh, Taryn, you notice Dewey getting up on the centaur's back, and it looks like he's going to molest you sexually. <laughs> so that would be my guess. So I, I would kill him if I were you. Oh, little girls. Oh, that's right. We were engaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you were. <laughs> so, Taryn, you immediately figure out there's something going on here. Now, uh, what's the – does she get to reroll on the polymorph? I mean, do I? Uh, unwilling creature must make a wisdom save, and then it lasts for an hour, or until you hit zero hit points. So I lose concentration. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I figured I'm stuck in this. Um, so Taryn, you see, Dewey is starting to rise up on the saddle like he's some kind of Russian Cossack, and you can pretty much tell these assholes have sold you out because the centaurs are pissed for some reason. <clears throat> I didn't really want to go to greater invisibility, but I friggin' will because this is turning into a shit show. <sighs> turning into? No, no, you know what? No. Nope. I'm not going to. I'm not going there. That's right, Taryn. You stick to your guns. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just, I just like shake my head and go, I'm not her. Clearly, these fuckers told you I was her. You know what? There's no way you're going to know that I'm her because she's a changeling. She can be anyone. Wait, wait. A changeling? Didn't you just change shapes? <clears throat> you Polymorph. just change shapes, Perpetua. <laughs> you're not talking your way out of Man this. Man of War raises his spear and says, all three of you Otherwise, just shut up because they got a 14 on initiative. Okay. You two get off our backs. You... Pick up your bag and shut up. All three of you are coming with us. We're going to go to the office. <laughs> that was, it was one of the possibilities that I had in my mind that this was going to go. Is we were all going to get busted. As I get off the centaur's back, I leap and tackle Perpetua. Uh, so if you hit her. He's doing this, Dewey. <laughs> oh <my laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't say I was going to do it, it but uh, I did it recklessly. Oh, now <laughs> one double ones, double ones. <laughs> you fall on the ground. <laughs> I, I believe that's a bingo entry right there. Hey, uh, Terry, despite, despite the warning of Man of War, Dewey leaps over. Entangles himself in Man of War's spear, <laughs> knocking him down into the ground and di disarming Man of War. This causes the other three centaurs to become irate. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, uh, one's going at you, one's going at Dewey, and one's going at Terran. You also hand. gathered a crowd around you because they are anxious to see some blood. Lucas, they, they're irate. They're beyond reason right now. I Lucas puts up his hands and he gets the spear to the nose. No further. Don't move. All right, all right. Taryn? I was already surrendering, so yeah. Uh, Dewey, <laughs> you have centaur penis running up your back as man <laughs> of war. He instructs you to hold while his associate hold, hold, hold it, hold it. Uh, retrieves his spear. Uh, they are going to bind you. Lucas, oh, Taryn, <laughs> you are not going to be bound. You are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Anastasia Beaverhausen, uh, with the moon high but only half full, uh, you have made it 1,500 feet, and in the distance – you see a small collection of buildings. I continue that way at a moderate but restful pace. It is in the valley, and as you're scooching along the hillside, 
Give me if, a if there's, if, there, if there's if there's any danger of falling or anything, dimension door. There's not. Give me a perception check. That's a net one. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, as you start to walk down the hill, you notice that you're in the middle of a group of Karens. Uh, Karens? Fuck Karen. That's right. Bur burial <laughs> chambers. Oh. And as you, wa as you walk up... No, 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 no. I don't, I'm not walking. You may just search for it. <laughs> okay, but before that, you... Because you didn't know it was there because you got the one. Right. Uh, no, no as, as soon as I do notice, though. Right. Uh, you notice an extremely large and imposing figure wearing some kind of animal skull helmet talking with some underlings about freeing. And then you dimension door. Give me a D4. One puts you on the far side of them. Well, Two, no, no. I, I choose which direction I'm going. Go ahead and choose. Uh, it would be the far side of them. Okay. Uh, that is going to put you out in the open. Okay. 500 feet. They do not notice you. Okay. Continue, Continue. on? Yep. Okay. Fair enough. A short distance away, you enter a small village. Okay. Uh, Middle of the night. But before I before I enter, uh, Anastasia, if this is a small village, Anastasia is probably going to be a little. Uh, is, is conspicuous, so I will turn into. I'm I'm, go I'm going back to the to the kid that Manish had on. Okay, Carlin. Yep. Uh, you walk in and there are two streets in this place. It's very small. Uh, there are maybe a collection of 25 buildings. <clears throat> uh, I want to go somewhere where, uh, okay, I'll, 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 I'll age myself up a little bit to be a, an adult in this world, which according to your rules is 16 age of consent. Thanks. Uh, I'll you only live to be 30 or yeah, I'll go and try and find, find somewhere to get a, get a decent night's sleep. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. Eight. Uh, Eleven. Uh, you do find something that's called the arms in. Uh, it's I'll fall asleep in the arms. It's one floor. Uh, you beat on the door and a proprietor in a stocking hat carrying a candle with a brass plate under it goes what what do you what what do you want what uh, I, I i apologize i thought this was the end i'm looking for a room it is it's the middle of the night though well yes i've, I've had a very very uh tiring tiring trek I, I i've come from whitewood I, I i i'm just looking for somewhere to rest how much one gold here's five uh, down the hall and to your right Thank you. I apologize for the inconvenience. You go down. It's a it's a small shoddy room, but it's going to be safe. There's a simple latch on the door, not a very good lock, but eh, you know it'll work. I'm not, I'm not terribly concerned about that. I don't I don't drop this for. Fair enough. Uh, and sleep for the night. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Manise, back to you. Uh, you fly out. You get the uh, apples with the worms in it. Uh, it's it's not bad. Uh, give me a D twenty, straight up. Seventeen. Actually, they're pretty good apples. So, uh, you fly Those out. Worms only only wriggle out of your ass very slowly. That's right. These are not parasitic <laughs> worms. This is not a South Korean Oscar winner. These are good worms. Uh, you head out. Are you still flying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you see a large fortress coming up, and uh, you've been here before. You notice that it is Fort Notori. I'm trying to remember this fort. I assume nothing good happened here. Nothing happened here. You follow oh, okay. the military in. 
uh, you kept your distance, the military came in here, and then you found the Brothers of Light. Oh, yes, yes. All right. I'll go around it. Fair enough. Uh, it's going to be, are, are you flying or walking around it? No, no, I'll fly around. Walking, I wouldn't walk. Okay. Uh, there's some woods where you had hidden before. Uh, you can fly through there. Uh, off in the distance, you see a small bay to the east uh, and flatland ahead of you. I'll go towards the small bay, maybe see if I can spot a fish or two. Fair enough. Uh, Taryn, Dewey, oh. Lucas. Uh, Dewey, you are bound. Lucas, you are at spear point. Taryn, you are at spear point. They again tell you to pick up your bag. Hmm. I pick up. You grab your bosom upon off, off of the floor and keep it over your shoulder. No, uh, I will pick up my bag and sling it over and be like, "That's right, perpetual. You give up. You give up." I'm not perpetual, and that will be found out easy enough. Then again, Judy still technically doesn't know that you were polymorph. Oh, hey, <laughs> Frank, would I notice that? Yes. Well, oh, I then I look at that. And go. Wait a minute. This isn't my bag. Who's is it? Is it? Is it Cola's? Are you it's a Cola's. thief? It's it's Cola. Of course, she's a thief. She's a thief. No, 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 she's a Cola. terrible person. No, Cola. Ran Don't let her talk anymore. <laughs> Dewey, shut up. It's Cola's. Cola's ran in there to get. Cola ran in there to get some more cough medicine. She's duped someone else. Who is this cola person? Is this the short person? Yeah, she's, she's, the, she's, she's the meth addict. addict. She's the one. <laughs> definitely she's robo tripping right now. <laughs> hey, she was the one traveling with me at the time, and she is. Well, you know, if you want to pick her up too, you could take your chances because she has the cop. And you know, I've been traveling around with her a bit, so you know, you really want to take me in, or them. You know, we're faking it. She tells good lies and bad jokes. Oh, no. Cola's definitely, there's no lie there. Cola's sick. Persuasion check, Taryn. Okay. This was one of the ways I had thought it could go, too. It's like, <clears throat> you know what? I'll do persuasion, but then maybe I do perform because I might start coughing. Okay. Uh, oh, that's really good. Persuasion is one of my good ones. That would be 27. They step back. <coughs> they step oh, back further. Shit. Guys, I recommend that you use your Sorry, spear you points to guide her to the town. Don't <laughs> touch her. I'll touch her. Untie me and I'll take her at myself. Who are you? Really? They, they asked Taryn. Who am I? <laughs> yeah, because you don't I look like you did yesterday. Somebody just one of these two knuckleheads and probably and I look at I look at course at Lucas because I know Dewey doesn't cast spells. He like cast this on me. No, I don't look like this is not what I usually look like. I am a wood elf. I am not a halfling. This is not You're I awfully just, short for a wood elf. I'm that's because I'm not a wood elf right now. I've been changed. Do like, I make like an insight check? Pay attention when you're riding in. I could see you from that distance. You didn't see it happen. And why would I change myself into the person you're looking for? That would just be stupid. What's your well, insight check, Dewey? Are looking for Eleven. You? On who? Dewey Lucas perception. All right. Eighteen. Fifteen. Both of you notice a tiefling coming around the corner, and both of you recognize him. Wait, I'm is not the sure. The bad tiefling from Pink? Think... That would be the people from. Uh, yeah, Dewey would not recognize him. Lucas, oh. you would. Oh. Because you were already in custody. Yeah, I, I was up on the roof. I was watching. Yeah, you recognize this tiefling, uh, but your role isn't high enough to know who it is. You just know you know him from somewhere. Okay. But, All tieflings look alike. But both of you notice the tiefling. And then just kind of 
move to the shadows a little bit. Boy. Um, uh, Man of War wants to know, Dewey, is she telling the truth? I just I don't know. Did I uh, inside enough to kind of think that she might be telling the truth? I'm yeah. telling so there is you, you you recognize the voice i i'm not gonna the polymorph's gonna be the visual but you recognize the the whiny tinny voice that is so uh-huh. annoying when it plays jokes <laughs> <laughs> if you're not perpetua tell a joke oh my god and man of war says no do not tell a joke play your flute they said that the uh changeling knows how to play a flute well, actually, she doesn't. That is not true. But I. That is what they told him. It is you know, what we told them. <laughs> yeah. And, and to be to be clear, folks, I actually asked um, I asked Blake before the session. Does Perpetua really play the flute? He's like, no. So he plays, no, she plays the French horn that you yeah, had, that she stole from that she stole from your companion's dead dead brother. Uh, I mentioned to the I mentioned to the centaurs. It's a really easy way to find out if she plays the flute. Search her. She might have a flute. Except now she'll pretend she can't play the flute. We've been discussing this right in front of her. That's good evidence. Man of War says, Taryn, Perpetua, empty your pockets. I pull out my flute anyways. It's not like I was going to pull it out and play it. Hey, Aqualon. No, you do not. What? You don't have a flute. <gasps> Cola. Oh, wow. Wow. She what stole it to buy some more Robitussin. <laughs> you do oh. not have a flute. As a matter of fact, you're missing several items right now. Oh. The look on her face is priceless. And yeah. you know what that means? Cut to Anastasia Beaverhouse. <laughs> Somehow I managed to steal them from all the way over here. The morning dawns anew, and the smell of ox manure wafts into your room through the wax paper window. Uh, what do you want to do? Okay. Uh, I would come with continental breakfast. <laughs> for five I, can, I can find you an egg. <laughs> For uh, uh, I'm happy to pay for it. My my mother has endowed me graciously. Let me see. Drop your pants. I <laughs> drop trow and reveal a 13 inch cock. Uh, very nice. Yes, your mother did endow you. Uh, Named after your father, I see. <laughs> it's nicely done. Uh, let me see what I can do for you, there, gorgeous George. A uh, yeah. couple minutes later, D12 against me. Okay. Eight. Uh, that's a 10. Uh, yeah, he finds a couple of eggs, actually. Okay. Uh, How do you like them? To, is, he, is he offering to cook them? Oh, yeah, he'll cook them. Okay. <laughs> you going to watch him? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not, not like over his shoulder, but like from the counter. So he cracks the egg, and you can see shell droppings fall into the skillet. Uh, I'm not sure about that. that's, that, that's extra calcium. That's right. Uh, after a few minutes, he finishes it up, throws it on a plate, rubs the back of his hand, moves the plate a little bit, throws a piece of grass on it for presentation, pushes it forward. There you go, me lord. I eat everything that he didn't touch since wiping his nose. Tastes great. Well, D20. Uh, that is a 13. It tastes okay. Okay. Um, I asked him, okay, out of game, what town are, are Rourke? Is, are they in Rourke? They're in Rourke. I asked him where Rourke is. Whew. About a day and a half that way. Okay. East. You're in okay. Minnick. Okay, gotcha. That, I, I, I graciously thank him. I finished my meal. The door slams open. We got a problem. Come quick and bring your skillet. I ready my quarterstaff that Perpetua has. Okay. Uh, you, 
you run outside still with eggs dripping off you uh and the whole the whole of the town uh is there her, her, her name is susan very nice uh they've all got improvised weapons and they they're kind of right where the two roads meet and they they formed a picket line of sorts uh give me a perception check to see if you see what they're seeing uh that's a nat one but i do want to ask you're short and you're standing behind big people yeah and all they can say is that's my grandma oh there's undead there is undead approaching this is a great plague. I still ready, I still ready for, for combat. Fair enough. Uh, you can tell that these people are simple folks. Salt so there's going to be great meat shields. That's right. Uh, and as you start to peek around between legs, uh, you notice, A, you aren't the only well-endowed individual here. But B, there seems to be a line of shambling zombies headed your way, all <laughs> in states of various states of decay. I, I, again, I'm. They, you should they, kill they, his mother. <laughs> no, well, no, they, they, so they seem to be ready for combat. They're not trying to like communicate with them. Oh, my, they're, they're yelling back. to the uh, undead, but half of them are very terrified of it. Okay, that's fine. I'm, how many, about how many? Nine. The zombies? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am ready for close quarters combat. Fair enough. Uh, Maniz, uh, you have successfully circumvented Fort Notori, uh, but dusk is falling. Uh, I'll find shelter in a, in a tree somewhere where I know I'll be safe. Well, you have reached the water's edge, and it appears to be swampland. Give me a, since you're searching, give me an investigation check. Uh, uh, so that's 16. Uh, you see a small structure. It's pretty decrepit. looks old. It's right at the water's edge. Maybe a fishing hut. Okay. I'll uh, check out the fishing hut. Uh, D12 against me. And that's a 12. Uh, I got an 11. Uh, currently, uh, it smells like dead fish, but there are no fish hanging here. There are some fishing uh, apparatus present, including a somewhat beat up net uh, and several rods. You're also near the town brothel. Um, do the rods fish. look functional or are they like just junk? Yeah, you've seen better, but they look like they do the job. The water is rather fetid in this area, and a lot of cattails are present. You can hear the bullfrogs uh, as they start to sound that the evening is arriving. I'll see if there's anything that I can find around this area that I can eat. Fair enough. There is a small craft about a quarter of a mile out onto the water, and it is heading south. Uh, give me a yeah, survival since you're looking to eat. Uh, that is 11. Well, there's bullfrogs around. Uh, there is maybe a giant carp. It might even be a magic carp. Um, go, 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 catch go, 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 stick, go stick your hand on a nail for that one. That one was bad. <laughs> I'll go for the the. I'll try to get the carp. Uh, give me a performance check, or you know what, uh, athletics. Are you going to try and use the rod? I think I should. Okay, give me an athletics check. Yeah, that's a big old fail. I got three plus one, so four. So as you slide into the water after casting uh, and clip maybe a flying feather, <laughs> uh, you want to try it again? The magic carp is still in the vicinity as you are so bad you didn't manage to scare him off. 
I wonder. Could I shoot it with my my crossbow? I don't know. Can you? Well, I will try to shoot the fish with my crossbow. And that is a 22. Easily, you are clearly a master spear fisherman. As the crossbow bolt pierces the water, uh, you see it float back up to the top. And the body of a large carp uh, is drifting motionlessly. D12 against me. Oh, that's a big old one. <laughs> as you wade out to retrieve your prop, as ah. you uh, mess the cameras all up, but it's producer, okay. The cameras are messed up. Uh, <laughs> as you reach out to get the uh, carp, you hear the screech of a large <laughs> avian, and an eagle swoops in low and grabs the magic carp <laughs> and carries it off. Would you like to shoot at the eagle? Sure, I'll take a pot shot at it. See what what what's the worst that's going to happen. Bird on bird crime. Uh, that is a modified twenty. You hit the bird. How much damage do you do? Um, no, nope, that's the wrong die. There you go. Seven piercing. Uh, that is enough to drop the magic carp. Not enough to kill the eagle. Yeah, I'll get my I'll get my fish. I'm okay. Fair enough. This time you do manage to gather the fish, although you've also gained the enmity of the bird. Uh, you get the carp and return back to the small fishing hut uh, where you may go ahead and prepare it if you'd like. Yeah, I'll do that. Fair enough. Uh, give me a D20 performance roll. If you roll a one, you're going to burn the hut down. I rolled a two. <laughs> After putting the fire out on one of the walls of the fishing hut and burning the carp a little bit, you managed to go ahead and salvage enough to go ahead and a good meal out of it. Uh, the bullfrogs are still... Burr, burr, burr. What is it from the Budweiser commercials? Bud. 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 Yeah, so that's what you're hearing. Other than that, the sun sets on the uh, swampland, and with your belly full of crappy cooking meat, uh, you may nap if you'd like. Yeah, I'll take a nice, uh, an, a nice nap. Dewey, Lucas, Taryn. Yo. You're up. Where were we? Uh, in a buttload of trouble. Uh, what else is new? Uh, you have a tiefling keeping an eye on Lucas and Dewey. Uh, you have, for some reason, Cola's bag. And the centaurs, not believing you, are roughly searching you. Uh, but the one, got, the one doing <laughs> so... How, ma how much horse cock grazes her face during all of this? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that, that would be Dewey. Uh, yeah. Taryn, uh, the centaur that's searching you turns to man of war and uh, is a little bit hesitant as you cough on him, uh, but he shakes his head and then quickly steps back. Uh, man of war looks to Dewey and Lucas and says, I'll take care of her. Ah! How does she play the flute without a flute? Hang on. I can probably clear this up quite easily. So not all of my stuff is missing. I'm just nope, going not all of it. I, I want to hear how you're going to clear this up. Uh, do we, Lucas, uh, get ready for, ready for the gallows. Was yeah, can I start working the bonds of off of this? <laughs> my my flute is probably in the the store right there. So you I'm, do have a flute. I do. I said I did. I was going to pull it out, but it's. I think somebody took it to buy some more cough <laughs> medicine. <laughs> For your you cough? Stand right up for her cough. I'm fine. Well, ish. Oh, uh, no, she admitted it. We heard it. Yeah, that was just <laughs> <laughs> No, for her cough. <laughs> well, she's the one that had it. I just, mine just kind of cropped up. A couple of guards come by and they recognize Man of War and they're puzzled as to why he's holding you guys at bay and why Dewey <laughs> is trying to get out of his bonds. Hey, can I can I go into the alchemist shop? I don't care. They can watch me through the door. 
no, you cannot stay here. We will go into the alchemist shop. See if there's a flute there and a bunch of others. What else is missing? Is I'll this give town them a situated so that centaur can walk into the shop? Yeah. That's very nice of them. Very hey, considerate. You know. They used to ride horses into the saloon. Uh, Taryn, you notice that the one that was uh, patting you down slash feeling you up heads over there, uh, goes up the ramp and uh -huh. into the alchemist shop or the apothecary shop. It could be like right next door. We just basically walked out of it. Right. So. <laughs> Come, comes back out, shakes what? his head. Oh, shit. My stuff hey, is... Frank, I dropped the polymorph. <laughs> oh god she did it again it has to be perpetual no it's <laughs> you you i recognize as the joke teller i'm not a joke teller okay i'm a flute player and i'm really not happy that my flute is missing you notice that along with the centaur is the apothecary and he comes up and says how may i help you lord war Lord War asks, did you see this lady come into your shop a little bit ago? Yes, my lord, I did see her. Was her associate with her? No, she was inside. No, I'll answer that. No, she was outside. She was outside here feeling poorly. I, I did not see any friend, my lord. Uh, she said that she needed uh, cough syrup for her friend. This is her stuff, so... Or is it? <laughs> well, it's not mine, and it's not theirs. So it's Do, Dewey Lucas there. perception. You're you're coming at this from the angle of truth. Think of it from the angle of someone who has no idea what's going on. I know. I'm Seventeen. All I have is the truth. I mean, I'm can not I skip a perception check in an effort to quietly make it easier to get out of my rope bindings if necessary? You can, but you feel, uh, oh, yeah, I know, stealthily. Just like, yeah, pull out something from the old Tinker's kit. Uh, acrobatics. Okay. I can do that. Lucas, uh, that tiefling's gone. Oh, that's, that's good. But the crowd is increasing. I, I, you can I pull something up. the centaur, um, I, I've done what I can to help. Do, do you still need me to stick around? Or yes. may I go? Okay. Thoroughly okay. confused. Taryn, D12 against me. I am totally... I am confused. Eight. There we go. Eight. <sighs> Man of War turns to Lucas and Dewey and says, I am not convinced this person is a changeling. She changed twice! In front of us! I did not. Why, if she knew we were looking for a changeling, would she change? Duh! I don't know why you're asking me. I, I, I'm, I've only been as helpful as I could. She doesn't have a flute. God damn it. I don't know. I, I, there is something wrong here. Okay. I'm done. I'm tired of dealing with you people. He turns to the guard and he goes, I don't care what you do with him. Uh, and he hands over a scroll with a wanted poster on it. He goes, if you find a changeling, take them into custody and bring them to me. If she changes again, throw her in the rack. I only have one spell slot of polymorph, okay? <laughs> I'll have to be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the centaurs, uh, Dewey, uh, as you're trying to fiddle with your bonds, you hear a... Uh, go ahead and roll a d20 for their slicing. If it's a one, they're going to cut you. <laughs> they release you and just shake their heads and they gallop off. The apothecary... All right, Perpetua. The apothecary returns to his shop. The crowd <laughs> hangs out at this very melodramatic ending uh, and starts to filter away. Lucas, Dewey, Terran, perception check. Okay. 
I start singing a little song. Oh, that sucked. I start singing a song under my breath. Oh, Dewey, God. Lucas, uh, you do not see the tiefling. Taryn, your humming uh, accentuates your anger towards your associates because you know that, A, uh, your shit's been stolen and now you're stuck with her worthless bag. And B, you notice that Dewey and Lucas just tried to throw you under the bus. Hey, hey, hey Taryn, I'm glad you're back. Um, <laughs> well, let's go find your wait. stuff. Wait, wait, so we're alone. Wait, what? Tara. No, that's Perpetua. Oh yeah, no, you're back. Yes, yeah, so you, you guys are standing there alone on the outskirts of town. I actually, I tackle her I, and begin to punch her in the face. I go wait, stop, and I start singing, and you know, I start singing for something Perpetua doesn't Morning do. Morning has broken. That's Perpetua's favorite song. <laughs> Why are you trying to hit? What, what is going on, dude? <laughs> Hit me. What? <laughs> a lot to talk about, folks. So, why are you trying to hit me? You got me locked in prison, and I now have a prison tattoo because of you. I was with you in prison. In fact, I actually got you off that charge. Oh, you hear that, everyone? Sexual in your window. You can check that box off. <laughs> All right. Taryn, either way, we've missed you. I'm glad you're back, Taryn. Really? Again. Do she changed twice in front of us. No, hey, hey, Dewey, I'm letting you in on a secret. That was me. She's oh, also God. a changeling. I'm, yeah, right. That would be I'd have to kill her on the spot then. One changeling is enough. No. Back to Anastasia Beaverhausen slash Carlin. Uh, the zombies are fast approaching. Uh, one individual in the crowd tells everybody, hold steady, hold steady, attack someone who is not your dead relative. Uh, and you see the adults start to move around and shift. So it looks like they're going to kill these guys again, but they don't want to kill their kin. Uh, do, they seem, do, you, do they seem capable enough to, like, is this, is this a, is, this isn't the first time this has happened? These are the slow shambling zombies. This is the first time this has happened. They seem, they seem. Oh, they're enough. petrified. Yeah. They, yeah. This is not Tuesday. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. Is, so this is this is a new occurrence. Oh yes. Okay, okay. So this this isn't. It's not like they're constantly battling the undead horde. No. Okay. No, I'm going to help them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, initiative. Well, actually, yeah, initiative. Not against the zombies, against the uh, people. Uh, Sixteen. Six. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to hold my action until they actually engage in combat, and then I'm going to magic, miss magic missile some fuckers. Okay. Uh, they're going to engage. Uh, the two next to you... <laughs> one drops their weapon uh, out of fear, turns around and runs like hell. The other one actually connects, uh, but only knocks an eyeball out of the zombie. Okay, so, so this, my so this picket line. Upon, upon seeing that, my held action will trigger. Right. Um, and I will. Uh, uh, so that's going to be. I was holding that at fourth level. So that's going to be five. One d four plus one magic missiles. Uh, I'm going to direct them two and three. Two to the one losing an eyeball. Well, well, no, no, no just uh, that 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 haven't engaged yet. So not the one with the eyeball missing. Because there were nine that were coming. Mm -hmm. Correct. No, I'm, I'm going to say that the one that was already wounded is going to is is going to be at somewhat of a disadvantage. So I'm going to say I'm I, I'm, I'm targeting the back ranks. Gotcha. So yeah, they, they'll definitely be disadvantaged because if you throw them a ball, their uh, depth perception is horrible. Yeah. So uh, the one that the one that has two coming at it is going to take seven, and the one that has three coming at it is going to take. I'll go after that D four in a second. Uh, is going to take. 
12. Uh, the one with 12 uh, is killed immediately, and you hear an old lady shriek, Not Daisy! They shot my Daisy! She dies. Uh, the next round... The old, the old lady dies, too, because fuck that old lady. Ah, <laughs> uh, the next round, you got some ass whoopers, uh, and they start beating the shit out of these things. So the one that lost an eye... Loses its other eye. <laughs> and the one you did damage to is felled by a scythe. hi -ah! So two are down. You're up. Okay. Uh, bonus action sorcery points. Going to do that one more time. Uh, again, I'm tacking the back ranks. Right. Two and three. And that should have been six if I'm casting it at fourth level. It shouldn't it have been. Mm. No, wait. It's oh no. Yeah, it's a first level spell. Upcast to second, third, fourth. So it should have been six. Okay. Sure, that sounds right. Uh, so that's that's three more to the one that had two. Okay. So I assume that means it still would have had one. So it got well, killed. Well, would, it, would it have died before the the villager attacked it? No. Okay. So the villager attacked it and killed it. Okay, that works. Uh, so that's going to be six, ten, uh, thirteen to one of them. That one's down. And then seven, nine, twelve to another one. That one's down. Uh, farther down on the left, uh, you hear a screaming as one of the zombies really bites into, uh, one of the people, uh, the others try and attack it, but with a three, a three and a six, they fail miserably. Clearly this is seal team 0 0.1. Uh, so new round, you still have the two that seem to be, eh. <laughs> oh yeah yeah they lop the head off one uh, okay. but the other one only sustains five hit points of damage so okay. there's one two three four five down one okay. injured you're up okay i'm going to third level this time using a lot of spells yeah, I don't care. I'm in, I'm in a town. I'll rest again. That, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm going to third level this time. Uh, two to the damaged one, three to a new one. Sure. Uh, that is five, six, seven. At nine to the damaged one. Uh, that is enough. And uh, six, six, eight. Eleven to a new one. Not enough. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I'm saying this. I'm only taking the one action because my bonus action is sorcery point conversion. That's fine. I just but, yeah, I know. I'm saying that for people at home. One of the uh, people kills the one with eleven. Uh, two other peasants hit each other. <clears throat> And they are knocked unconscious. <laughs> Stupid NPCs. Uh, your two fighters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, are down. Uh, this time they aren't any good. Okay. You're up. So how, ma how many are left? Seven dead, two left. Okay, fuck it. I'm going to go into close quarters and I'm going to double dagger these fuckers. Okay. So whichever one is near, or whichever one seems to be posing the greatest threat to a nearby villager. The one going after the two unconscious ones. Okay, that's that's who I'm going after. Sees their man witch way in there. Uh, and that's going to be... So I'm double daggering it, so that's going to be 2d4 plus... 
five, so that's going to be uh, four, three is seven, plus five is 12. Good enough for one. And that's my action. They bite. Uh, two of the four villagers are out. The other two come through. Ooh. Uh, and they deal a whopping on it. Uh, we go back to the two that are useful. Five and an eight fail. It's up to you to kill off the last one. Mm. This is Grandma dressed in gold jewelry. Rotted ruffles. That is 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 5 is 12. Good enough. And I take that jewelry. Whoa, 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 whoa there, Stretch. Don't defile my grandmother. She already defiled herself. Don't defile my grandmother. I leave her be and cut off the heads of everyone that was killed by the zombies. Uh, nobody was killed by the zombies. Two okay. Bitten. I cut everyone else's heads off. No, the all, of them, all of them that were bitten. So you're cutting the heads off the two villagers that were bitten. Are they unconscious or alive? They're alive. Oh, okay. There are I, two I, unconscious I'll, ones I'll, I'll, that I'll, 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 I'll each I'll other. That I, need to, I will inform them that I need to speak with them. The injured ones? Yes. Oh. Yes, he who just killed my Uncle Larry. Your Uncle Larry was dead. Yeah, and he about killed me again. Yeah, let me take a look at that. Can I get an uh, arcana? I don't even know you, child. I just, I just helped save your fucking ass. Can I take a look at your wound? No, I don't know you. I insist on it. <laughs> Sonny? No. Roll to intimidate. NPCs being dicks, Frank. Roll to intimidate. Uh, they don't know you from Adam. Yeah, and they but they just saw me fucking shooting fire and flames. I'm here to fucking help. You just killed their dead. Yeah, relatives. but they know someone in this town knows that these are undead. Oh, they all know they're undead. Exactly. So it, they shouldn't be too pissed off about that because the person was already dead. Eh, still watching your grandma die again. It wasn't grandma. It was grandma's shambling mass. That What's is your intimidation? 16 plus 5. 21 intimidation. Uh, 16 plus 0. What are you going to do? I want to take a look at your wound. Are you a cleric? Yes. Oh, okay. Rolls up his sleeve. How does it look? Looks like he's got a bite. Does it look to be spreading, necrotic, anything? Survival, investigation, what do I got to fucking roll? Medicine. 14 plus 3, 17. Looks like he got bit. Doesn't seem to be spreading. Mm -mm, not at I'm all. I'm going to investigate the other corpses for bite marks. Sure. That's fine. The zombies? And I said investigate, so that's investigation. The zombies? Yes. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and look. And you hear jumping Jehoshaphat. What is that? That's 23. And I'll look at towards the direction of what is that. Everybody is looking that away. And there is a figure on a dark horse about 300 yards away. Okay. Was my 23 enough? To, were these bitten or were these just raised? Raised. Okay. The figure turns and goes off into the sunrise. Okay. Do I get a, how, a, a general size? Roll a d20 just straight up. That's a 10. Uh, you're pretty sure whatever the fuck you saw last night, yelling at the subordinates, was that thing. Oh, for that brief second that I popped in there? Mm -hmm. In the in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not terribly worried about that. 
Fair enough. Manise, you're up. Uh, you wake up in the morning. I, I, I still wanted to file grammar. You, they'll run you out on a. There's only like six of them left. They'll run you out. Okay, then I'll take a rest then to file grandma. They're going <laughs> to run you out after the rest. Manise, uh, you notice that the water level has risen a little bit and it was uh, got up to your ankles. Uh, there's some small minnows floating around your feet or claws. Uh, but other than that, you were unmolested during the night. Um, so I'll make my way to uh, to Holden. I think it's what it's called. Fulton. Fulton. Yeah, there you go. Going to take you two days if you follow the coast. Is there a more direct way that I would know, or did you see the map at uh, Torgal Manor? Ooh. Takes a look at your wings and says, "Yeah, maybe." <laughs> I can't remember. No, I think that was the globe that we looked at. That was in the library, and only you and I saw it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, you're 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 just gonna follow the coast. There is right. a more direct route, but it'll still take you two days. Okay, I'll follow the coast. At least I have access to food and shelter. After one day, uh, you notice that you're starting to gain on that vessel. Give me uh it, it's it's pronounced Quingon Wessel. <laughs> Give me a uh Wicker, Wicker. Arcana check. Uh that is a twelve. Twelve. You recognize this vessel. It is something belonging to the Dewey Dakamel clan. Oh, oh, oh. they're gonna <laughs> kill everyone. Do I have fire? <laughs> you, you aren't close enough but i don't know if you have fire or not you can close before it reaches it flame. i don't have anything with fire anyway so burning is not gonna work huh. what no gasoline and matches <laughs> no i'm not the big pyro in the group Swamp um, gas baby swamp gas <laughs> Um, I'll follow them, but at a safe distance. I don't want to end up on the wrong end of things. You surmise that they're probably going to Fulton, and you follow them at a safe distance. Dewey, Lucas, Taryn. It's mid-morning. Oh, back to us. Yay. We're now by ourselves, right? Yeah, nobody gives a shit about you guys anymore. They were hoping that the center a big hug, knowing that she's no longer Perpetua. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I am so sorry. Did you see what they did to me in the prison? It was terrible. What? I am so glad you got out of there. I have, I have CCTV footage. I masturbate to it daily. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> so you three are together again. Welcome back to. Uh... And then I stab her in the back. I mean. Basically, I told the centaurs that she could be anywhere. You have a real problem with the truth. Maybe you aren't reading the room. <laughs> the truth has worked so far, and I get it. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take an impromptu vote. Has the truth worked for well, Taryn? That deck of many things where you've earned the enmity of a demon, yeah, but you just don't know it. <laughs> hold on. I do recall. Let's see. I That's what it's like playing in Frank's game. For every yeah. character you make. Yeah, Frank. I yes, Taryn. Murder charge with the truth. It was fun my way, but it was still all the truth. You didn't make make any rolls for that. I think I got past the checkpoint. Oh, I, I couldn't make you do any rolls. Watching you squirm incessantly was hilarious. <laughs> it wasn't, I was having a ball. Who are you kidding? That's my, my favorite thing. And I so. guess... It, the only thing I sort of vegged on the truth was my cough, so which I really don't have. Lucas and Dewey don't know that. No, no. I don't I'll, care. I'll tell, I'll tell them the truth. I'm like, no, no, that was all show. That was all for the benefit of getting them. She's away. just addicted to suit effect. So while you three are getting back to knowing each other, they're asking you if that's not your bag, whose is it? That little halfling that was with me, I think. I mean, what you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cast 
prestidigitation on it to clean it because it probably is germy as fuck. And I'm going to cast it on my hands too. Can't trip. So, and then I will go look at I, it. I cast Purell. You beat me to that one. <laughs> and then I'm going to look through it because I'm kind of curious as to what's in there and if it now, is Now, are you casting it as you pull items out or did you just do the on the outside? The overall the whole thing. To open I, it up, stick your face in the German fest bag. I'm not, I, I'm not really pulling items out. I'm kind of looking in. I can start cleaning items if, if, if I need to pull them out. Uh, no, I think once you cast pres Prestidigitation on it, it'll just go ahead and Purell the shit out of the whole thing. Yeah, let me see. I'm going to just carefully. You find a variety of items in there. Most of them mundane. The papers from the towel. The one paper that I picked up and threw away. Wait, I found that? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, guys. I pull out the magic box. <gasps> you got the magic box back. Get that little shit stole it. But now we have it. We're yeah, good. We have it. Good. We have it. Yeah. High five. Oh, not high five you, you sick bitch. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not bitch. What, what is I'm just face? kidding. High five <laughs> your knee. Because you're tall and I'm short. Do we? I'm like a child over here. Please. I acknowledge it. I got. I, I have so many questions for you guys, but. So I guess the first is, I mean, can you get past what happened to Perpetua? I think we need to get them back. Uh, we need to solve this. Whatever is going on, we need to solve this. Well, we do know that we have the box, and there's a thing that helps seal the evil that's at uh, Betel Keep, like north of here. Um, but there was a bunch of phase fighters, and Dewey and I weren't able to defeat them by ourselves. Then we definitely to find some way to get the others to us. Yeah. I mean, well, Maniz, no. He's, he's working for the gnomes that destroy all good information. <laughs> <laughs> they literally I, tried to break <laughs> me out of prison and they took Maniz with us and I managed to escape, but Maniz started helping them and, and, and I got out of there. Cut to Blake. Uh, I think we need them. I think we need them all. I think we need all. Anastasia. Carlin. Carlin. Uh, you have investigated to your heart's content. Uh, the people are going to their dead relatives, wrapping them in burlap, and dragging them back towards from whence you came, the Karens. Okay. okay. Uh, go back to the inn. Uh, I want to take a rest, and I want to go to Fulton. I'm sorry, you want you want to go back to the inn, take a rest, and then go to Fulton. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, that's fair enough. Hey, Frank, I think yep. he wants to go to Fulton after he takes a rest. I think he wants to take a rest and then go to Fulton. So okay, okay, yeah, okay. Not sure. I uh, thought that was go to Fulton and then take a rest. But why, why, are, why are you guys right? trying to go to Fulton? Just out of character. That's the only place that uh, you guys don't know that that's the only place that has ships. <clears throat> oh, are you guys trying to flee the continent? Fuck yeah, they've been trying to get the hell out of here forever. Oh. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, so are we. The town everyone else was in. They're in war? Yeah. Yeah. Every, every, go back every time I said Fulton, I meant war. Okay, that's fair. Um, so Maniz, let's let's do lightning round. Uh, Maniz, uh, as you're headed towards Fulton, you are close enough to get a look at the vessel. You have confirmed that it is filled with Dewey's people. Uh, do you want to attack it or land inside the town? I'll land just outside the town. D12 against me. Twelve. Three. <laughs> Just as you land, a giant shadow goes flying over you. You gaze into the sky, and in the sunlight, you see a bronze dragon <coughs> into Fulton. And he's developed a cough. Kill the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you are just outside the city gates. You notice that there are a line of refugees 
damn people uh, trying to get into town. You also saw the uh, not humongous figure of the bronze dragon, but a dragon nonetheless has flown into Fulton, causing the refugees to freak out. Dewey, Lucas, Taryn, what are you doing? Um, talking. Oh right God, now. it's back! It's back! Also, yeah, no, Maniz is totally evil now. He wants the <laughs> destruction. He's working with the... Right? I'm sorry, Frank, I lost the note card that had the information on it. That's fair. But the uh, the cabal yeah. that wants to destroy all information and knowledge. Because so he's well. probably totally okay with the end of the world. He got all it. Right. You know oh. what? I somehow don't think that's the case, but I don't know very well. I don't know you very well either. But does we got to it? know each other in prison. Sort of. I mean, why? I mean, why would they think that Perpetua caused this plague? That's what I want to know. Did you guys have? I mean, you guys don't seem like the type to super want obvious her. look to Luke is like, oh shit, man. But see, I don't think Lucas, see, like, I don't see Lucas type <laughs> cause a blight. And I don't see this is the type of group, the, a lot of things you guys do I are actually to have cast self preservation. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, but, the, the blight is my fault. Um, is you broke but, open a box and yeah, unleashed evil open. into the world. This box. Wait, the blight came from, that, from this thing? Yeah, there yeah. was evil in here, and we need to put the evil back in here. But what you do is you take it, the box, and you spin this gem right here. And no. I can't. I know you can suck people into it, okay? I'm not playing with the box. Yeah. And that's how the evil got unleashed. Yeah. So you guys are out to actually try to put it back in the box, but are you yep. sure that's what caused all... So you guys really maybe are sort of responsible for no but, no no i wouldn't say that evil is responsible for itself we yeah, they didn't create it. evil it was all of my fault they didn't I didn't it was always doing, doing anything yeah uh, all we did was try to fight it i'm so new to all this guys i don't it honestly was know me. no one but, can see that is that, a, right, Frank, is that a dick that's a dick. It's That's a, a, I believe it's a, it's a bulbous glandus from a canine. <laughs> it is the light bulb going off over Terran's head. No, well, well, there's one thing. I, I mean, so wait, did but didn't didn't this play get started in the north? Yeah, like, way it started north. at the academy. There's an island next to the academy where we unleashed evil. Yeah, and now the academy is gone, and I, all I of the mean, heroes. You mean Lucas? You mean Lucas? She doesn't know that. I don't know any of this, okay? Remember, I'm she doesn't not, know that the academy's gone. Yeah, I'm telling she you now. She's not even a hero. Yeah, you're oh. not a hero. What's the matter with you? Also, I pull out this book and I tell her about the cult of Sensua, and they want to, you know, destroy the planet or something, and they're all about evil. And then I pull oh. out another book and I tell her about the rod of catching that helps trap the evil into the box. And one and I pull out the book about the box <laughs> itself made by Torgo Manor. <laughs> so, Taryn, you are able to infer that these fuckers have known all along that they were responsible and they had the information to go ahead and rectify the situation. Same we were trying to rectify the situation, but we got caught up and then you made us go into a mine and we tried to help you and then we got arrested for murder and then Lord... And it just goes into innocent. You don't have the truth on your side. Baffle them with bullshit. I, 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 so I'm gonna hug Dewey. I go. Oh, it's gone. A bunch of my. I, I. Hopefully, I will get an answer. I don't think I get an answer. What exactly is missing? I know my flute is missing, which is. That's not happy. Uh, Only you know what's missing from yourself. Yeah, we have no. I don't know what you yeah, had. I mean. The flute's a big thing. Would I do? I still have my weapon and my. Oh uh, yeah, you got that shit. I mean, I can it, find basically people. anything you had equipped on you at the time. So I will figure that out. Um, but obviously, I want to replace that. Um, how, I, now, how long are are you going to stay and try and find her, or are you guys going to bail? I guess the one other thing is. If we had like a scroll of sending or something, we could message them or two scrolls of sending. We could message them. Is there anywhere 
and say where I can buy one of those or two of those. So you guys are going to hang out in Rourke for a while? I don't want to... Do we, what do you guys, what, what do you guys want to do? Because yeah, yeah, I mean, out of game, I know Perpetua is coming here, but we're still missing a cleric. I mean, we, we do want to get everyone back to this point because it's right next to uh, Battle well, of Keep. Right. Like, well, we if go. we find Maniz, he has a gem of seeing, which, which, which could help us find Perpetua because, because we could see her then, but, but we can't trust Maniz. Stop. Going over to Monday. Anastasia, Carlin, whatever. I rested. I leave towards the fucking town. I've been trying to do this all goddamn fucking game. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you found Hold the on, cellar with a lot of wine in it. Uh, give me a perception check as you head off towards Rourke. Even though you haven't asked anybody where it's at. <laughs> but no, I said every time I asked, I said, I said Fulton, I meant Rourke. I, I'd asked where Fulton was. What's your perception? Uh, 17. The area around the cairn as you pass by it, headed towards Rourke, is suffering from substantial blight. Uh, Dimension door fucking is through it, landing as minimal as possible. If I can go around the boundary, I want to do that. Final thoughts, Kyle. Fuck this game. (laughs) (laughs) We're so close. We're so close. <laughs> Final thoughts, Kyle. Really, uh, 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 turn the timetables up on the uh, the evil and the blight and everything like that. And uh, I'm glad we didn't get to t- kill you, Taryn. Uh, glad that didn't happen. Maniz, I'm sorry for when we do kill you because you don't have the persuasion to talk your way out of it. No, but I can stop <laughs> killing him. I can do it. Because I, it's in, no. I think it's in the best interest to keep you guys from killing each other and me to solve this freaking problem. And you know what? It's not going to matter if we run away to another continent because this thing, because that disease is going to follow us there. <sighs> then we'll be like level 14 or something. So yeah. we'll be all right. Yeah, exactly. I, I played, played Fable ball. 3. We've been level 4 for three goddamn months. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Taryn, final thoughts. Oh, God, that was awesome. Um, oh, no, that was Taryn's. No, skip her. Skip her. She'll keep talking. Go to the next person. I'll just say that was awesome. Go to the next person. We know it was awesome, Carol. Blake, final Thanks. thoughts. This goes back to what I was saying on Tuesday. I was telling you I was trying to get up with everyone, and you threw, you kept throwing shit my way. I'm trying to not be an evil character, so I had to kill the undead. This was, this was bullshit, Frank. You're the one that's separated from the entire party. You're go- um, you're getting a little just desserts. I did, I know I did not. We we were all scattered. I've been telling you for four games that I've been trying to get back with them. Right I'm, after I'm, I'm, leaving, I'm, 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 I'm them. very upset. Uh, okay, final thoughts, Lucas. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. I like fucking with the uh, centaurs while trying to uh, play along. Uh, add a little bit of fun. Uh, I'm glad that they got bored of it, so now we can continue on our mission. But, uh, yeah, because I had no plan to get out of that situation. I was just trying to play along, so I wasn't going to be the one. Clearly. Final thoughts, Chris? Um, Yeah, we're all going to die, I think. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's what's going to happen. A good game. Well, folks, uh, it's 10 o'clock. We kept it at two hours, which is a plus. Uh, Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube. Uh, If you want to buy our crap, uh, I mean our high-quality stuff, which is pretty good quality. Uh, I like it from Threadless, tiny URL, that uh, RPG swag. If you were playing bingo tonight, uh, let us know if you want it. Uh, Let us know what time you want it, which is the most important thing, because if somebody bingoed you before that, then they're going to win. Uh, Remember, I am going to have to double check the cards, but uh, Scott probably had way too much. All times the Eastern Standard. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, But uh, Scott's probably uh, Jose Cuervo'd out, so he's not even going to remember. Nobody's won. No one won. I've been Here, I'll throw a fire really quick. You know, it's not fire. fill the card; it's straight across. No, they don't and all the cards corners. are different. They're, they're, they, yeah, they, they've been randomized on each card, Carol. Even if you're looking at one. No, no, 
I'm reading Twitch chat. The two voices oh, okay. there, oh, okay. which is Scott and David. David, David probably. David, David, we know you're watching. Playing and neither one. Pat yourself on the back. Good job for making it this far. <laughs> you should probably turn it off now and no, Scott. Basically, they're basically begging that we stay just be careful when you turn off your computer. I know you're drunk. Don't throw up on it. Please don't drive anywhere. Ooh, uh, Please don't. We appreciate that too. Yes. Folks, Just Tuesday night is it. between the rolls. We will see you then next Saturday is a one shot featuring uh, Patriot oh, Love and Fans. We're all suffering oh, from intelligence and wisdom loss. Everybody's gone surfing. Uh, producer, you ready to get rid of us? Uh, everybody wave and tell them goodbye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>